Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at, uh, from the uh, Bandai uh, Machine Robo Universe line, this is Unit Roborn, Unit Robo, Ambulance Cake, and Pineapple Bus. Um, we've looked at some of these figures before, and this is the newest wave. I got these figures from Amazon Japan, where they are available right now. Um, if you'd like to deal with a domestic uh, based seller, they are available for pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store, and I don't know when they'll be getting them in stock. Um, honestly, um, while you might save a little on the shipping going with Big Bad Toy Store and their uh, slower shipping options, they too take a little bit longer to process, and really with Amazon Japan, you'll get it a little bit quicker if you go with the uh, DHL option. Um, actually, even with the, I think with the uh, EM, ECMS, EMSC option, you might get a little bit quicker than Big Bad. Um, this is a very gimmick-oriented, spring-loaded toys, which you'll see. Um, the, the whole theme of this is the gimmick. Let's just get that out of the way, as I've said before. So we'll pause, and we'll start with our look at uh, Pineapple Bus. Okay, and well, here's Pineapple Bus, and well, very honestly, it's a pineapple. Solid plastic with a little connector piece there. And a yellow school bus. Um, oh, I, I know, just noticed now it has the little stop sign uh, molded in. Oh, what is that? Let me see if I can focus on that a little. Nah, it's just a little deco. And here on the side, they have the writing with all the uh, copyrights and stuff. So, the bus does roll very nicely. Um, basically, the way the gimmick works is you combine one into the other. So you want to have the bus facing with the front away from you. And then you're going to basically peg the pineapple in. And what will happen is the this part here will flip out, and all the sides of the bus will flip up. Ooh, Ooh that was a little aggressive. And everything flipped up, and we have a saber-toothed tiger. Please note the musical note motif on the eyes, the sound equalizer bars here on the side. The, uh, the unit were born line is very musical influenced. Uh, on the website they have a nice little video that shows you with the, the Enzo, Ezio, the, the little figure and how he brings stuff together to save the day, but very nice. There is no articulation. Um, the mouth doesn't even open. Um, not a lot of paint, but again, kid-friendly line. So to reset, uh, bring the front down, bring the panels down, remove the pineapple, Flip the head back in. There you go. You're ready to just do it again because that's what the gimmick is. And there you go. Really fun. Um, I think this is the definition of a desk toy. Um, so we'll pause and we'll come back and take a look at Ambulance Cake. Okay. Now here's Ambulance Cake. And I should mention that... Um, Pineapple uh, Bus is the is like a smaller uh, model, whereas the Ambulance Cake is one of the larger ones. I don't know what they name the classes. That's something that's not very clear, but it's two different price points. Um, the Ambulance Cake packaging is a, roughly the same size as, say, Taxi Tree or Beetle Train or Beetle Steam Train. Um, so yeah, it gives you that. And to be, but to be honest with you, you don't end up with a combined robot of the same size. I mean, there is the mass, there is the amount of plastic. Like this cake is very dense. This is doing a lot of the work for the combination. Um, so basically, to do the combination, what we're going to do is uh, want to have the cake facing away from you. Uh, you're going to bring it in, just like that, and then basically the front of the, the back and front of the ambulance will slide forward. This head will pop up. Um, next, what you want to do is bend the 
sides of the cake forward slightly and rotate the front down. This will give you a uh, little balance to help hold it up. That's like a bear head, I believe. I think that's a bear. Maybe a badger? No, I want to say there's a bear. But again, musical note motif, the soundbar equalizers. I want to say there's like a strawberry shortcake or something, but usually that's a, a yellow uh, cake inside. So it would have been nice if they could have done a little painting with like to show the layers and stuff. But um, to reset, fold everything back up and down. Separate the two halves, push that down, that'll just come back into place, bring the sides up, and make sure you push the uh, head here back into place. I do notice that it does, at least on my copy, have a, sometimes it needs a couple of pushes to uh, lock into place. Also, I noticed that the gimmick button is a little more pronounced on each figure. So, you know, you press and that's you know how it does it also i should mention that at least on ambulance cake the instructions show that you have to bring everything forward that really the only spring component is the head honestly the weight of the cake actually helps bring everything forward so there's that but there you go i like it it's got a little chunk to it uh, ooh, this opens? I don't see how this opens, but... I, I, I wonder if that's just, you know, the nature of how this was put together. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, we're discovering something new together. But I kind of dig it. Um, I still think, you know, obviously Taxi Tree is going to be one of my favorites. But uh, this is a good addition. I, I like it. It's kind of fun and got a nice little heft to it. So we'll come back. I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so I've gone ahead and brought Pineapple Bus back in, and I got to say, I really like this line. Um, I'm more excited for what Unit Reborn is doing than really anything in Transformers Legacy. I mean, if you notice, I've been looking more at some Japanese releases than domestic stuff, and I mean, we will be getting back to the domestic transformer soon it's just this is a lot more fun and i like to spice things up a little give you guys a little variety and you know trying to put out a video a day um does make it a little bit easier uh definitely again if you're interested in these figures all of them are as far as i can tell are available on amazon japan you might have an issue where some are out of stock at one point, but they do restock. You might want to try other Japanese importers. Um, if you're really hesitant to commit, you, you can do Big Bad Toy Store, but again, none of them are in stock yet. And, uh, you know, some of the pre-orders have sold out, but give them a shot. Um, I know, you know, doing those overseas orders... You might want to like throw in with some other stuff just to like if you if you order from there to begin with, throw like one of the smaller ones in like pineapple bus, or shark vending machine just to try it out before you commit to the larger sizes. I don't know how much larger they're going to go. I'd like to see like something big like the Job Braver line. We're getting a vehicle that like the guy the the smaller vehicle vehicles can store into. So maybe I'd like to see, like, like a 747 or something. I mean, not, like, uh, Titan class or whatever, but something a little bit bigger. That would be kind of interesting to see. And maybe a combiner. Um, I know with Machine Robo and Bandai, I mean, they really do combining robots, odd combining vehicles and stuff. So let's see. But... Definitely, I think it's a fun line, and you'll get some enjoyment out of it. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, that does help with the algorithms um, and promoting my channel, especially with videos like this that are a little bit outside of my norm. It does help to communicate to um, YouTube that, you know, hey, I'm doing something here that people should see. But that's about it for the review. This... Um, for Pineapple Bus, 
and Ambulance Cake. This is your old pal Chuck, and we will see you next time.